Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some popper slivers and today we're going gruel again. So let's see, how's our hand looking? Uh, it's keepable, it's keepable. It's a little slow, but it's keepable. Get some good damage in with the Viverlint. First couple turns. Alright, come on. Pass it back to them. Hmm, alright. We'll be able to get some good life here for this. Cycling away a bunch of stuff. They're uh, gonna regret that as soon as I see we're on the slivers here. Ooh, we got double Viverlint too. That's gnarly. I actually think we're just gonna play the Tranquil Thicket tapped. We can set up for a really mean turn next time. All right, here we go. Ancient Spring. All right, sacrifice had white and black. Ooh, and we got the mutagenic growth. Okay, so how do we want to run this? I'm just gonna put this out. Yeah, we'll say okay. Let's do this. I am going to just play the Viverlint and hold up vines through combat just in case they're doing something. And then if they don't, then we'll play the striking. There's nothing to first strike against right now anyway, so. Alright, double poisonous is hit. I like it, so I think we'll play this now. Let's get another creature on the board. If we get a haste creature, we just have a lethal, like, straight away. Chromatic Sphere. It's not gonna save ya. Keep looking. Careful study. It's not gonna save ya. Keep looking. Draw something decent and crack this. Yep. What's it gonna be? Germog. Okay, I see you. Good stuff. Well, we can really blow them out with this, though. Alright, so... Need double blue here. Attack with it. Here we go. Poisonous, poisonous, poisonous. Come on, let these poisonous go through, or are you just going to concede? Mm, I don't know what they're doing. Let's go. There we go. Alright. We will just hold up the vines and the mutagenic growth, just in case. But uh, we'll move on to game two here. Tap target creature if you do uh, equal to this converted mana cost. Dude, that's scary. What are you going to do here? Draw cards equal to... Okay. Interesting. Thanks for letting me know about those cards. I don't think it's really going to change the game too much.
Is it? Tell me. Chromatic. I don't know what you're looking for here. Okay, the combo continues. Yeah, all right. Let's go to the sideboard. I like chain lightning. We'll just go for the straight burn on this guy. Go as fast as possible. Mutagenic growth. Uh, let's see here. Relic will be a good. So let's uh, say let's get rid of Hunter. Yeah, we'll take out all the Hunters. Mm -mm -mm. Mutagenic chain. Do we need anything else? Need to cut one more card. Oh, electricery. Yeah, that's not good in here. Alright, let's run it like that. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's a good hand. I like it. They're going to be scared when they see this Viverlink come out again. Tap land. Alright, we got a couple Menace. Need our Lords. Cool to get some Lords. Really push damage. I can't count on the poisonous here. We got lucky with the double poisonous last time. Give me a lord. That's it. Very nice. I will take that. No need to play the menace yet. We'll play that when they drop a angler or something. Just like last time. And if they start developing a really strong board soon, Blade Black, Blade Back is going to help us out a lot. Because if we can't like get through, we can start just hitting them for like five damage, six damage every turn just by tapping our creatures. If we can't like swing through the creatures they play. All right, trying to get something going. Good old Delve combo. I'm not scared. We got a lot of good stuff coming. A haste creature would be nice, too. Really start putting pressure on. Alright, Rugged Highlands, huh? Well, we'll play that out now. And I guess we'll just go ahead and play the two-headed, just to get some more power on the board. Actually, we should have played Blade back now. That would have provided more power on the board, so that's my mistake. Yeah, we should have just played Blade back. Oh well, we'll be able to drop both of them next turn. And then we should just be able to clean up this game with like a Chain Lightning or something. Let's see how much they can do this turn. Got them on a two turn clock. And I'm pretty sure they only need like one more turn to really combo off nicely here. Ooh, what are you? Delve Death Touch, huh? Creature Zombie. Let me take a look at this. That's a goofy looking card. Okay, that's the best you can do on your Delve? I'll take it. I can handle that. Oh, that's gnarly, actually. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well. They can't attack through this here, so we're just going to go like this. Yep. 
Do you see the writing on the wall? You gonna let me attack in? Swing for six. And let's see, they can't tap for red, right? So now you gotta tap and do that, so we're good. So we'll just go like this. And we'll just go like this. Sorry, Delve. My bad. GG. All right, we win. Cool. That was fun. Uh, I love cleaning up with the burn. There's something so satisfying about that. <laughs> Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you did. And if you want to see more gruel slivers, I think I'm going to keep doing this where I just uh, play it like once a week or something. Play our normal slivers. And then every Friday or something, switch it up with the gruel. It's just fun to play and switch up the, the deck a little bit. So uh, if you enjoy, subscribe for more and make sure to leave a like on the video again. I got to still set up the sideboard. I know I need to add like flaring paint and stuff in the sideboard. So forgive me. I'm not fast with buying cards and updating my decks. I'm like really super slow with all that stuff. I like wait till I get a big order together that I can like buy a bunch of cards on so <laughs> right now i haven't done that yet so my bad but we haven't gone up against tron fog yet either so thank goodness <laughs> all right guys well uh thanks for watching stay tuned and we will see you guys in the next video